Hey everyone, Rygar here from Rygar Gaming. Welcome to episode 4 of Learning to Play City Skylines. Uh, today we're going to carry on expanding our city because we have a great need for um, residential um, areas and we're also going to look at the built-in landscaping tool. Now to use the built-in landscaping tool and allow us to just kind of play around with it um, we're going to turn on a couple of mods that just give us unlimited money and unlimited soil to do the landscaping. Um, and then once we've had a play around we can reload the game and then turn the mods off and go back to playing normal. So if you start up City Skylines, if you're playing along with me, then we can go to the content manager and then go to the mod section and then remember we added some mods last time. So there's a mod for unlimited money, so turn that on. And there's a mod for unlimited soil so that we can do landscaping without having to worry about any particular limits either. So turn those two mods on, click out and then we're going to load our game. Alright so if you've got a game as well then load your game up and you can play around with me. Um, so just from the previous episode I've added um, a section down here with a bit more residential area because we desperately needed it. Um, I've had to add a new landfill site because our previous landfill site is full. So, so there's, there's no more room, it doesn't send out any more garbage trucks. So you need to keep an eye on your garbage once your land site, full becomes, once your land site becomes full, um, you need to build a new one. Now you can't delete a landfill site if it's not empty, right? So it has to be completely empty before you can build it. So once we get to some more other ways of dealing with the trash, we can get rid of these landfills later on. So at the moment you can't delete them. Cool. I've got a whole bunch of empty farms and so on because I don't have enough population to support my industries. So at the moment if we go to the population tab, um, I've only got 3% unemployment um, and obviously we need different types of workers, skilled and unskilled. Um, and so that's why we're giving that. So don't worry about that, the, the farms will get uh, rebuilt later on once we build um, a bit more of our um, city. So I left it on pause just so that we can play around with the landscaping tools. Okay, so if we click on the landscaping tool button down here, then that brings up the landscaping tools. So you can see we start to get an elevation map um, of how the terrain is elevated and you'll see all these elevated elevation guides showing us um, the differences between the terrain. So down the bottom here it's completely flat, there's no elevation guidelines and then as we move to a higher elevation we start to get these um, actually appear. Right so uh, what we want to do is we want to learn how to use the shift terrain tool. All right so the shift terrain tool if you click the primary button which is the left mouse on the PC or which will make the terrain go up if we use the secondary button, which is the right mouse button on the PC, it'll make it go down. So if you're on a console, it'll be uh, one of your buttons on your controller, obviously. So if I just hold the left button down, we can see we start to build up the terrain and it starts starting to grow. Um, so at the moment it's growing quite slowly and has a small area of effect. So what we can do is you can click on the brush strength button. So now it's medium, so it grows at a slightly faster rate click again to set it to full strength and now it grows at a, at a very fast rate. You can also change the brush size so that's the area of effect so you can see we get a bigger area of effect choose the largest brush size and we get a very large area of effect. So now we've built um, quite a big mountain there so if we use the right button it goes downwards and obviously you can start to create holes in your ground as well so just some things to watch out for so let's just make that go down a bit um, probably need to reduce the brush size down and then fill in that hole a little bit make that bit go down so you can start to get holes left um, where you are trying to do stuff so this is where some of the other tools will come in handy so uh, the next tool that we can use is the um, level terrain tool. So this allows you to set a particular height and then level all the terrain to that particular height. 
so if I choose the level terrain tool let's say that I want this area here where we just did our experiment to be the same height as the ground over here which is completely flat so if we right click on the flat area and then with your left mouse button just start painting you can see that it starts removing all of the dirt soil to be exactly the same uh, level as before so we can see that now that's now completely flat there's no terrain guidelines there so it's completely flat and um, you can see that you can go up to a road but it won't um, deform the road it will keep the road structure as it is which is quite cool sweet so there we go so we can um, get it to that particular height if you want to make things higher so we want to fill in this area what you can do is click right click up here where the road is and then as we start to fill in it starts to make it that particular height so it's a good way of being able to uh, make your higher terrain make it wider and extend it out a bit more and then it kind of flattens all of that area for you so that's quite cool and obviously it costs money and soil to do various landscaping activities if we didn't have those unlimited mods out so now that's completely flat um, level with the top of the road here okay so if I did this bit here then it makes these top of that road as well so you can see that's quite flat um, all the way across um, here sweet so um, again we can um, click a particular area and make it go down to that area so another tool we can use is the um, soften terrain and what that does is it just softens out the hard edges so you can see how it just softens out the hard edges over here okay and again we can change the strength so it means it's less softening make it full strength we get more softening make the area of effect bigger so it makes it faster to kind of do that sweet so we can um, soften that particular bit out so that's the softening tool so it just means you can soften out hard edges and you can see down here we can just kind of reduce that back and it just softens all that back to a nice flat area as well and then the other tool is the um, slope tool so create a slope so you right click on your destination height so right click down the bottom and then from the top click and drag down and it creates a nice slope for you towards your target area so that creates a nice sloping effect which is slightly more pronounced than the soften tool all right so that's basically how those particular tools work so why don't you have a play around with those particular tools um, and then when you finish playing around come back to the recording and we'll look at the next one all right welcome back so now we're going to look at paths so the paths tool allows us to add paths to um, our particular right so I've already put some paths in beforehand if I just delete them then you'll see why we want to introduce paths um, into our city so um, our citizens will actually walk around so um, here we go here so we've got um, this road here called Finch Road and we want to connect it to this road here now you can actually change the names of your roads if you click on a road name we'll make sure you're outside of any tool so click on a road name brings up um, the inspection um, uh, pop-up window then you can click on the name and let's call it Rygar Drive so now that whole road which sort of goes around there up there and up that way is now called Rygar Drive so if I want to go from Finch Road to the petrol to the police uh, sorry fire station on Rygar Drive then if I'm in this house here if you can if you click on that house it will give you um, details about that house same with the fire station so click on any building and it'll give you details about it so if I'm in a car I have to drive around Finch Road down White Drive down Madison Way and then onto Rygar Drive and get to the fire station if I'm walking same thing walk along all of those roads and then get to the fire station but if we can put a path in between that then it'll make it very quick and easy for someone to walk to the fire station so if we choose our path tool so you can use the pavement path which costs double the gravel one so you can always start with the gravel one and then change it later so you don't, you don't want to start by snapping onto the road and starting from there because you can't start on the road you have to get quite close to the road now because we've got all these guidelines on um, 
it, the snapping kind of is very rough it, it's not very um, finesse uh, in terms of where it snaps so you can change that by choosing the toggle snapping so you might just turn all off if you want to and you can see it's now a very free form right so we can just start from here go all the way across we're going to destroy that house unfortunately so sorry to the people that are living there and you can see we now get a road there so now from Finch Road to the police station I can just take a quick short walk and I'm there and your citizens will actually walk a good distance so there's another road there um, so we could do one from here to here so let's get rid of a couple of these buildings Let's do a path there and we could if we want to do a path there so sometimes your buildings will get destroyed but that's okay they'll get rebuilt there's nothing wrong in that uh, it's always good to rebuild things if you've got better ideas on what to do so adding paths is really helpful because it reduces the traffic it allows your pedestrian your citizens to walk to bus stations and get to important areas where they work or shop and so on so um, adding paths is a really good thing so just look for areas where you can add paths again over here we could add paths going down this way to get to the main arterial road um, and so on sweet all right so that's how we add paths the next thing is trees so we can add trees to beautify our city and do some detailing so click on this button it shows you all the small trees click on this button we get the medium ones click on this button we get the large trees click off that we get all of them and you can scroll through them or use the mouse wheel to scroll through so if I choose let's choose some trees and just try see what they look like so you can see that they're not all the same height even though they're the same tree it will give you random random heights just to make give things a random nature to your city it's no good having everything exactly the same which is quite cool so you can just try around different trees and see what they look like see what things look cool so that tree looks kind of cool so what we're going to do is place some trees around our cemetery which will add a nice touch when people go to visit their loved ones that have passed away cool so just go through there's no right or wrong way of detailing your city whatever looks cool and interesting for you that's perfectly fine awesome so now we have some nice um, sit, uh, trees around and you can keep adding more and more depending on how many you want another cool thing we can do is add vegetation so click to the vegetation tab and that just adds you know kind of ground level vegetation around your trees and things so we can just add those things which look kind of nice to play around with different types of vegetation and the last thing is you can add you know kind of you can add little rocks into your city we can add kind of bigger rocks and you can you can rotate them if you hold the right mouse button down or the secondary button hold it down and then just move your mouse around it will rotate and then you can kind of get it in the right position and then click to add it in and then it will add that into uh, your city so it's quite nice to detail and add some tr um, rocks and things in you could add them in the middle of your roundabouts or around your roundabouts that kind of thing just to add a little bit more uh, visual appeal to your city okay so that's the landscaping tools the last tool is the key tool to allow um, nice finishes to your beach area and stuff so we'll, we'll deal with that in a later episode all right so that's how we do uh, the landscaping and so on so now we need to carry on expanding our city because I've got a huge need for residential you can see the residential meter is very high still need some commercial as well so we need to add some commercial area but I'm running out of space down this side so I need really need to start expanding my residential out into this area here but what I won't don't want to do is only have one connection to our highway because then all the traffic is going to come from this area come up through all of these roads to get onto this highway so what I really want to do is extend the highway out and have another connection here that will allow me to connect everyone from this side side of the city to the, the highway as well so to do that I want to build another roundabout connection down here um, so what I'll do is I'll just delete these connections from here oops I shouldn't have deleted that road I can't undo can I no I got so let's choose the highway road uh, that one there 
and then let's use the curve row tool to join that back up so if you pull it out whoops need to put the road snapping back on so just turn all the snapping back on to help you pull it back out to there click curve it around and there we go that completes it so what I want to do is just pull a straight road out of here so that I can build a roundabout and it will be at the same um, horizontal position going across there so to use this kind of guideline use the um, dirt road because it's the cheapest one so we just want a straight road coming all the way out oops put it onto the straight tool that would be handy so how far do we where do we want our roundabout should we do it a little bit more maybe a little bit more let's do it about there cool and if I just build off there remember we can use the roundabout um, tool the roundabout mod to help us to um, build that so remember we did that in episode 3 so if you if you haven't watched episode 3 and didn't learn about the roundabout tool you can do that otherwise I guess I'll explain it again here so click the roundabout build a button and choose the road that we want for our roundabout so we want to use the highway because we don't have anything else which is um, at least two lanes one way so we want to use the highway road um, we don't want to use the free cursor mode so this mode will snap to an intersection if you use the free cursor mode you can actually build it anywhere that you want uh, but we want it to snap to that particular intersection so we click on back uh, we want it to level terrain so if the terrain is not quite flat it'll level it for us when it builds the roundabout um, and keep open just means keep the roundabout builder window open uh, which is fine so remember we can use the plus and minus on your keyboard if you're on a console um, you don't have this mod anyway so unfortunately you have to build the roundabout yourself so in episode 2 I showed you how to build a roundabout um, without using a mod so hmm let's see how big that should be yeah I think it's roughly about that size isn't it yeah I think that's correct cool so we'll build that roundabout there boom and there is our roundabout is that about the same size yep I think it is cool so now we want to get rid of that road there sweet and what we want to do is extend our highway down to here and then do off ramps and on ramps onto that roundabout so um, before I've ran the game before so uh, actually we're still on unlimited money aren't we so that's cool uh, we're just um, doing it for testing purposes so um, we'll keep the unlimited money going because I only have oh, actually no I think I have enough money so actually why don't we do that so let's um, save the game all right let's go back and turn those mods off just to mean that we play the game properly but remember play the game how you want to play it's completely up to you it's not um, a competition or anything so if you like playing with unlimited money and unlimited resources that is perfectly fine that's up to you so let's load our game back all right so um, that way we'll be uh, playing it with the money that we actually have so I've got uh, push start why are you not there we go so I've got ninety thousand dollars which is a reasonable amount but that will eat up pretty quickly once we start building our roads and so on so we'll keep the game running um, and that will allow us to earn money at the same time so we'll put it at two times speed okay so let's extend our highway out so we keep it'll keep that distance so let's go up to yeah, about there so that's that one was that the wrong road that was the wrong road dumb okay choose the highway road we'll just upgrade that Cool, and then just change the arrows back in the other way so we get the direction correct and then we will extend this one out boom and then what we're going to do is we're going to 
bring our highway out to here then we're going to curve it around and connect up to the other highway which is out here so that gives us another way to go so we want to bring bring this across so we can use the road guidelines just to help us to line things up nicely so that's in the middle of that roundabout and then go after that so you can see we were at 90 something thousand now we're down to 43,000 so it eats up the money quite quickly and then what we'll do we'll just turn that around um, so there's a connection there and then we will just change the arrows by right clicking on them cool and then we just will need to rebuild the on off ramp uh, for the other side of this roundabout here so choose the highway ramp so it's easiest to do it from the highway back to the roundabout so we'll find a node uh, so choose the straight tool it'll curve it for you so let's do it from there and you can see it should turn blue now we need to go back a bit for more maybe there we go so add that one and then oh got a rock there which I added before so we need to delete that just kind of make it so it's kind of symmetrical to the previous one make sure the arrows are going the right way sweet so now the arrows are going the right way awesome and then we just need some on off ramps over here so let's build that let's get back to the straight tool so from that node we want to connect to there so you see how it deformed that roundabout when I added that all right, so that, that's what I was showing you, tried to show you one of the previous ones. So that's deformed that roundabout, and without any other tools, we can't do anything there, which is really annoying. So what I need to do is I need to rebuild that part. And does that still look deformed? Let's delete that. No, that's okay. I think that's fine. So let's rebuild that. Uh, highway road. Ah, oh, crap. It has stuffed it up. Let's delete that part there. That's going to delete all of it. That's annoying. Um, I'm going to have to redo my line that goes all the way across. So let's redo that. So we'll choose the dirt road. Oh, let's delete this first. Let's, let's choose our dirt road and then from. Can I see the node? No, okay. Let's pause it. Just get rid of these. Oh, this has been deformed as well. That's annoying. So, with the Move It mod, which is one of the later mods, it will actually help us to stop it from. Um, actually doing that so let's pick the dirt road let's pick the middle we want to go all the way down here oh, I need to use a straight road I'm gonna leave it deformed for now I can't be bothered rebuilding that part let's do that all the way up to there so then we will rebuild the roundabout so roundabout builder mod change it to the highway road it should have the same value that we had before notice there's a little fragment of that dirt road left so we can just delete that dirt road and that will bring that back and then we just want to delete our indicator road here cool we'll fix that up with the um, move it mod later on in a later episode it's not worth worrying about for now let's reconnect this back up Sweet. Right, so before we do the highway um, on ramp and off ramp, we want to brace this roundabout. So we can brace it by using the dirt road again because it's the cheapest road. So just do a road across there, across there. So now that's braced. If we add extra things, no, uh, extra roads onto the roundabout, it's not going to deform it, which is what we want. All right, so let's take the highway out a bit more. Sweet. 
sweet. Let's put in the on off ramps. So let's do it from come there. No, it has to be back further. Hmm, that's not going to allow us to do it that well. Maybe that is too small. It is too small. It is too small. That's what the problem is. So let's make that a bit bigger. So we've got um, the bracing that will help us to set that roundabout, so that's good. Um, so let's just make that a bit bigger. Because we want our roundabout to be bigger. Sweet, let's do the roundabout tool again. We just want to make that plus, so make it slightly bigger. Sweet. Uh, we'll need to put the bracing back in again. arrows in a minute so let's try doing the highway road again the ramped road I should say yep there we go and you can see it doesn't deform now because the roundabout has been braced um, for that there we go and let's just fix up the direction sweet join that up because we're not ready to whoops wrong road because we're not ready to um, carry on any further and so now we can do um, exits from the roundabout going back up here we can also go out here and kind of use all of this area um, over there as well so before we get rid of the bracing add in the extra points to the roundabout so I guess we should probably um, extend the highway out actually and put the ramps in first before we get rid of the bracing so let's do that all right let's extend this out a bit further sweet and let's do the highway ramp It's up to you if you want to get everything perfectly symmetrical or not. I don't really worry too much about it. Later on, we're going to replace these with other types of intersections anyway, once we deal with different um, amounts of traffic. So make sure the arrows are correct. And we will just make those there. Sweet, so all the arrows are correct. Nope, there's one wrong there. Sweet, right, now we can add in the um, roads coming off the roundabout so we probably yeah we probably want to use an arterial road for that so that's our six lane road and we can come off directly from that node there so let's do it up to there and then we can go directly onto there sweet and then so this is our area that we did for landscaping, um, so what I will do, uh, we'll leave that for now, uh, we can build on that later on. And then we can just have that road coming off and we'll deal with that later on. So now we can get rid of the bracing around the roundabout, otherwise your cars will actually use those roads in the middle of that roundabout to um, travel through it, which is not what we want. Sweet, okay so that's done. And so if we let that go, um, now our people can get on to the highway from this area over to here. Now the other thing we need to do is move <laughs> this uh, sewage outlet because if we want people living here, you've got all this crap floating past the river. So let's move that. So get out of any tool. If you click on that, you can click on the relocate building. It will cost you money, 
So if you click on that, it'll tell you how much it'll cost to relocate. So $500, so that's okay, we've got 11,000. So let's put it right at the edge of our square. Cool, so we put it there, then it's gonna flow from there outwards. And you can see that all the previous pollution is starting to flow away from that area. So this will become nice and clean as all the water pushes that off. And because we moved it, we need to reconnect the pipes. Cool, so we'll just connect that pipe to there. And then we need to give it power, so we'll just need to take some power from there and connect it to there. And you can see before they were complaining about the sewage, and now that it's connected, those will all disappear. Sweet. All right, awesome. All right, so we just need to go through um, and do some more zoning for our city. So a cool thing you can do is because the highway is raised, we can actually now create connecting roads um, that go across to the other part of our city, the um, farming area. So what should we use for that? Should we use, let's use one arterial road. Well, we've got an arterial road there, and so that's going to connect up. Um, up to here so that's fine um, hmm. so we can probably just use a, a collector road rather than arterial so normally a collector road will be a four lane road um, so we can go right underneath that and connect up to there there we go so we've got another way to get across now so instead of going through that one road there which is getting quite busy people can now go across this particular road that we want. So you can see people starting to use the new part of our um, highway because the people down in this section will find it easier to get onto this. So basically the way the game AI works is it looks for um, which roads will give it the fastest speed and the cars will choose roads with the fastest speed um, to get to where they want to go. So instead of having to go from here through all these lower speed roads to get onto the highway, they can see they can get onto the highway quickly here and then um, take a high speed across the highway which is really cool right so we better do some zoning so let's go back to um, use our dirt road because we don't have much money so let's do some zoning so let's go across like this uh, yep there's the road guideline sweet uh, let's pull this right down across there let's do a road Cool, add some paths and things in if you like. Um, that's up to you, I'm not going to bother. And then we can put some more residential into that area. So let's do that. Eventually probably what we're gonna do is make this road go down here as an arterial road as well. So we're gonna upgrade that to the six lane road. Sweet, we can stick some residential in this area. Now that the sewage outlet has gone, <laughs> makes it a bit more palatable to be living in that particular area. Cool, and why don't we zone in here. Now if you look at the sound view, um, where is the sound gone? It's just gone blank from it, there it is. Noise pollution. So you can see that your highways will produce a little bit of noise pollution, but it's not too much, it's not too bad. Okay, so normally you can buffer it by having some commercial next to the highway and then residential after it. So uh, we can do those particular things as well. All right, so we've extended the highway, produced a new connection to it. So this new off, this new roundabout off-ramp connection we don't want it to be too close to the other one because it leads to traffic snarl ups which we'll look at later on so it needs to be a good fair distance away so there's a good number of units across um, there so i think uh, on the traffic guide that i mentioned very early on 
um, having at least 60 units difference between intersections on a highway is really good. So what that does is it allows a lot of places for people to change lanes and make sure they get onto the correct lane um, that they want to. If it's too close, if I had the um, on-ramps over here, then it's very hard for people to change lanes to get to the lane they want to go. Um, at the moment there's not much traffic so that's not such a problem. All right, well that's the end of episode four. We looked at the landscaping tools, how to extend our highway down our city and produce another off-ramp. Obviously, it's entirely up to you as to how you want to design the layout of your city. Um, um, you know, there's no one right or wrong way for actually doing things. All right, so that's the end of this episode. Hopefully, I will catch you in the next episode. If you like this episode, please um, click the thumbs up button to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, then please subscribe. It will just help um, other people to find the videos through the YouTube algorithm. So thank you very much and hopefully I will catch you next time.